Good morning, my soccer universe. We also have the final four set for the Copa America. And we had yesterday a match that actually fit in with the scheme of things, at least the two other tournaments that are following, in the fact that there was no goals and there was an upset. So there you go. We're talking about Uruguay against Peru, with Peru winning and I can wear finally my wonderful Peru jersey that I bought in 2009 at the airport in Lima. Uh, Valon, right here. Uh, the game, you know, I think it's down to the format that uh, after extra time, uh, that there's no extra time, after regular time, uh, you end straight up in a penalty shootout. Uh, that we actually went there again. However, during the game, Uruguay clearly had the better of the game. Um, knocking at the door a few times. Uh, you know, you have Cavani and Suarez on front. I mean, uh, there gotta be <laughs> some damage done. Um, but, you know, Peru, although mostly in defense, were not uh, like Paraguay, just organized on the back. They also tried to play with the ball, but of course, Uruguay is a much uh, more or well organized and uh, probably more talented team. Although, as I said, at the World Cup, I really liked what Peru was doing. Um, the game was also slowed down by a huge deluge uh, late in the uh, first half where you could see then uh, this ball probably stopped Uruguay in the tracks. In the second half, Uruguay uh, really came a knocking. Um, there was one chance where Suarez uh, pulled it back from the touchline to uh, Godin, who pulled it over the bar. Um, then Cavani scored a wonderful goal, but he was offside. Suarez later scores a goal. He was also offside, and so it goes to penalties. And who steps up first? Suarez takes very confidently, but takes a shot that is saved by Gallese. Guerrero makes it 1-1. Cavani, 2-1. Uh, Rui Diaz, a little bit shaky, but makes it 2-1. Uh, Stuani, very nicely uh, done. Jotun was also a little bit close, but he keeps the advantage to Peru. And then Betancourt slots it home. Advincula with a really nice uh, penalty for 3. Torreira gives Uruguay a chance, but in the end, Flores, with a shot down the middle, secures the upset for Peru, which I did not expect. Um, I am happy that Peru is through. The only thing that I'm now afraid they play now Chile, and I think we just awoken the giant of Chile. Uh, them beating Colombia, and the way they looked, I don't know. I don't know. I, this, it looks a little bit like deja vu. But you know, that's a duel. Uh, that's a pretty big rivalry because Peru and Chile don't see eye to eye uh, for historically reasons. So that's one duel between neighbors. And of course, we have the big one between Brazil and Argentina, where I actually don't expect a great game. I think it's more between Chile and Peru that I expect something good. But yeah, the semifinals, they are also played on the 2nd and the 3rd of July, but they're uh, at night for me. Uh, in the Minerao, Brazil plays Argentina in the semis. Minerao, semifinal, there was something. Let's see. And then in Porto Alegre, Chile plays against Peru. Maybe, hopefully the pitch is better. I doubt it. That was it. Copa America heats up. We are in the final phase. And despite having the two big boys there, I still maintain I might see someone else winning this one. And at the moment... Looks Chile to me. Don't like it. I don't want to see it, another Argentine Chile final. That one's for sure. But hey, if it happens, what can, can what can we do? Uh, drop me a line below if you have anything more to say about the quarterfinal between Uruguay and Peru. Um, I'm actually a little bit sad to see both Colombia and Uruguay go because um, those two were to me the best teams in the tournament so far, and now they're out. But it fits to this um, Copa America that was not very, how to say, was not very exciting to watch all the time. And I didn't watch much, but um, from what I hear and read, not that many great games. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel 
all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.